This is pretty cool. I got a thousand experience points. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. This must be the other side quest. Damn, it's beautiful. Rest. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. So, all this Been is the vineyard. Domo all your life? Damn. Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather. Major domies? As was my <laughs> great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Bonclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She mm. dragged the rest of the family up the same path. I got some apple juice. Drink some of this. This game is ridiculous with the food and drink. This is cool, though. You own this giant estate. I wonder if stuff unlocks here. Side quests and stuff. I accidentally drank another apple juice I didn't need. Alright, what are we doing? Follow your major domo. Yeah, we went from one quest into another by accident. We basically went streamlined simultaneously from one to the other. The servants caught us. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. So they live here. What a great place to live. How the hell? What the hell? I walked up rocks or something. Baron Rossell oh. ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't huh. look at all bad now, either. An olive grove. This is where they... Are they going to harvest and stomp on the grapes for the wine? Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Marvelous. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. Yes, uh. a tale about a guest attending a bolus ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. Whoa. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. Oh my god. To numb the pain. He drank the wine. Nice! Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains, and began preaching wow. the wisdoms of Lebioda. So he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> what a nice moron. All right. Continue on our tour. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. <gasps> a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Hmm. Herbs and herbs. Weird how <clears throat> in some places in the world it's pronounced herbs. In the United States we pronounce it herbs. We don't pronounce the H. I don't know why. I have no effing clue why.
Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> Barnabas Basil. We got fresh, uh... We have fresh herbs growing in our backyard. We've got cilantro and oregano growing in our backyard. And we've already used it in one of my pots of sauce. As well, the cilantro we used in a lot of stuff. We used it in fajitas. We used it in... Uh, on a pizza. We used it... What was the other thing we used it in? Oh, in the sauce. That's right. Yeah, we used it in a bunch of stuff. Fresh herbs are freaking amazing. The Witcher becomes a gourmand. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Ha ha! Ooh, excuse me. And here's the sub basement where I Celis, murdered the, the monster. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, <laughs> mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Before they called it the Bruja, now they called it the Bruxa. I don't get it. I thought they pronounced it differently before. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. Mm -hmm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. <clears throat> All right, we're on the side, yes. And welcome inside. Ha! Huh. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Now here comes your harem. Idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Let's see how much it costs. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. The house, the grounds. Let's do the grounds. Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Okay, let's do the grindstone. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. A uh, thousand. I, I can afford it. I have over two thousand. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? How much is the armor repair table? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Another thousand, fuck. Mm. 
Let me check out the you house. Know, ponder the notion however long you... If you don't mind. Of course, sir, as you will. Alright, the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Hmm. Whoa, 5,000! I certainly don't have enough uh, florins for that. Never mind. Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. At All right, so I'll just do the, the wheel for now. Okay. Now what? I shall be glad to... Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Alright, so the mission is restored to its former glory. See? I need to do all the things. I have to afford all of them in order to uh, finish the mission, I guess. book so you can access all of your books from here it's your book personal bookshelf right what's in the chest here your stash your personal stash look at this well take a look I had stuff in my stash earlier in the game I think yeah look at this junk level 17 I could easily sell all this stuff, right? And raise some funds and maybe improve the estate. I mean, this is cool. I don't feel like doing this right now, though. I mean, I don't want to try to grind money to improve the estate. It's cool that it's a mission, though. Okay, what other missions do we have? We've got the war... Visit Gyome in the medic's hut. Or the medic's tent. Return to the cemetery at night. Those are the only ones we have. And of course we have the monster hunt. Where is this quest? Oh, it's right here. I might as well do this. It's right, literally right there. Not even 100 meters away. It's nice to have a vineyard right next to a mission. <laughs> Makes it convenient. Okay. Almost there. Oops, I ran into a fucking wall. Oh shit. Witch it. I have a matter of prime urgency and imports. I must speak to you. Okay. What's going on with him? Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden. Nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. A cursed woman? What makes you think she might be cursed? Could it be the woman you must who just keep helped? all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? 
as it were. Oh my god, so cheesy. In hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. Huh? I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Hmm, so she disappeared. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. <laughs> had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. All right, anything else unusual? Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Hmm. All right. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists, and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Did I not say earlier on that I was going to end up entering the tournament? That's exactly what I said, and now of course, ding ding ding. But you know what? Let's get our reward negotiated. Hardly a regular <laughs> job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally, I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Ooh, starting at 500. So we'll go up to, say, 545. Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Aha! Okay. Darn, I should've asked more about the tournament. Shit. Oh, Fine. that's pretty bird. I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Ah! Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Oh boy. Target practice. Marksmanship. Feel a need to do some shooting. Okay. We're gonna do some target Come practice. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. <laughs> My goodness. What the? Wow. Did you see what I saw? There was a weird symbol in the upper left hand corner. <laughs> what was that? Alright, target practice. Oh, wow. Yep. Target practice. Hit the red targets.
Easy enough. Once more? I'd say that's enough. I aced it. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Just because he said that, combat training. Fuck you. Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. All right. We're gonna do some hand to hand combat. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Oh my god. All he thinks about is this blonde chick Vivian. He can't stop himself. He's completely obsessed. What the fuck? Did you see that guy over here? Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at his legs. That dude almost fell. The kill go! <laughs> Why? Why? Shut up. Hurry up, Slayer. Hurry up. <clears throat> Fighting these fucking numb nuts? Stand at the center of the training ground. I'm gonna beat the ass shit out of these challenges. people. The Knight's Codex commands constant improvement. Why, my cross, it is the Witcher who shaped us from woe. No mercy! <gasps> nope. Carried me. Here we go. I expected you to do well, but not that well. No. <laughs> Want to fight? Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. I want to see if I can protect the parry. I don't hey, understand ho, it. Hey, you need not ask me twice. I shall bleed you like a stuck piece. Oh, this guy's got a shield. Look alive! Look at that. What the hell? He got poisoned. How'd that happen? What happened there? I have no idea. They I got expected poisoned. expected you to do well, but not that well. So I actually timed a parry pr properly once or twice there, so... Alright, we definitely did that enough. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Alright, horsemanship. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. All right, so we got two down, one to go. Come with me. Can I manually save? Yeah, I want to manually save since. Oh, you cannot save your game. Maybe it auto saved, and that's why you can't save it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I had to wait half a second, and now I can apparently save. So here we go. All right, cool. <laughs> 